Hey guys, what's up? I had to make another Dragon Blaze video just because some interesting things are going on. Um, one, they finally did something different with the event shop that usually comes in. You guys know all about the event shop. Usually there's like jewels, there's raid tickets in their shoes, stuff like that. Normal crap that we normally didn't want. So I wasn't a huge fan of the whole event shop thing. But they actually changed it to where we get these for, for free. Also, you cannot make these characters because they're in this event. So when this event goes away, then you can just make them with um, Transcendence. So any character that you did not make, pretty much you can just go in here and just be like, huh, I didn't, I wasn't able to make that. Now I can craft it. Yeah, I got this character from the free Overlord ticket that we get. So if you guys log in now, you'll get a free Overlord ticket. It'll be at base. It's not like at max or ultimate or anything like that, unfortunately. But I tried to make her. <laughs> Honestly, did. And this is the message I get. Follow character can be acquired through this event. Participate in the event and claim the Overlord ally. So yeah, can't make her until this event is over or until I get her through that. So yeah, actually pretty nice. Excuse me. It's funny because her um her relationship seems like she's one of the guys. <laughs> Hold up, where it is. So I guess she's more of a tomboy. I think I passed it, didn't I? Nah, yeah, I went too far. Yeah, here it is. Hey, look. <laughs> like I already slipped that in there. But Aja is definitely a girl, just so you guys know. I don't know. She probably could have a dick, too. You, ne you never know. But... <laughs> actually made me laugh a little bit it seems like she's probably is like probably a tomboy you know because it's kind of funny to me i guess age is kind of more of like one of the guys you know <laughs> just a straight up tomboy i don't think we've ever well i don't really know the history or lore behind any of the other characters so i don't know if if we had any other tomboys in the game well, you can rest assured this isn't a trap. I mean, come on, not a trap. So let's get that out of the way. I wanted to make her and take her straight into tower, but yeah, nah, it didn't happen. And I was auto farming last night, and for some reason, the emulator disconnected from the internet. So all I was met with coming back was um, a good old hey, you disconnected from the server. You should log back in, bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, I missed out on a good pal of these glasses. It's funny because these glasses look like they've just been cut out when you acquire them, but... <laughs> and that that's for you guys to know. There's also uh, some pretty decent rewards in here, too. Around, like, the money, the allies, the... Actually, you can get a lot of trans... I think, like... I think I get like every glass is like every 50, hmm, not every like 50, what was I about to say? Like I would do 50 runs and I'll probably get like 25 glasses, so probably like half and half depending on the stage or depending on my luck, really depends. So pretty much just auto the stages, leave your phone on or PC emulator on and let it auto just let it do all the work and get you all the allies to be honest it is possible to get all four depending on how actively you farm and it is into the 28th so there is no excuse not to get these characters along with a little bit of extra transcended essence I would mostly focus on the transcended essence if you're in need of go to go for it but the Transcendent Essence are the most important ones after you get get these Overlords. 
Just so you don't have to wait, waste resources like making them. Yeah, I just thought that was actually pretty neat that they added this event in. And I also took a small look at the um, deal tournament. Which we'll go back in. I already put my stuff in. We got a little people in here. Because a lot of people have decided to quit right now. Because the game is getting like way more difficult and stuff like that. Um, to be honest, I don't really take this game too serious. Just because of one thing. It, it's an idle game. I, I legit just see this as an idle game. Uh, this is one of my games that I just like to have running when I sleep. <laughs> Since a lot of the games I play don't have like auto rejoin. This is the game I leave up just the auto farm for me. And a lot of the games I do play that have auto rerun, um, they don't really have a lot of stamina. <laughs> Let's say that I can't, I can't just like keep rerolling my stamina like that. In this game, I can easily reroll my stamina just because they they are really generous with all the content in the game that gives rubies. So yeah, probably the best game to like night farm in. Or sleep farm, whichever one you want to label the term as. But yeah, as you can see, this is going to be my team I'm going to be running. Could be different as soon as I get those elf overlords. And there's also one thing I wanted to do, and that was to get Aaron to arc, but... Ah, man, gold hurts. Especially when trying to throw things over here. I want you guys to see, like, yeah, gold hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> Man, I used to have a lot of gold, but now that I started making characters that I actually want to expand on, <laughs> all my gold is non-existent. And plus, I also uh, have it to where it auto mixes together, because if I didn't have the auto combine on, I would have just have a whole bunch of this crap going on so I wish there was like a times two gold thing that went on or there was a times two gold item that I can come in here and buy now that should be pretty neat I actually farm with that I mean there's bonus XP but where's where's the time to go guys we need that give us some more buff items Yeah, nothing else really new, to be honest. I wonder when they're gonna add in um, person Christmas costumes. Cause I might want to get the alternative of this one, which was red, I believe. Hell, if they can make me a green one, now that would be sick. I would love it. <laughs> Cause you guys know my favorite color. My favorite color is straight up green. Just because of the color of luck, you know. <laughs> the luck I don't have. <laughs> Let me go ahead and grab this stuff. But yeah, quite a bit of things are going on. Especially with the special attendance rewards that are going on too. I'll show you guys in a few seconds. So yeah, we're getting a pretty decent, oh, pretty decent amount of stuff. I didn't even see the arc on that. The reason I call it Ark instead of Arch is just because I I like to say Ark. It's way easier than just saying Arch. And it sounds better to me. I know some people probably thought about that or wondered why I say it, say it like that. But you get a thousand here. That's going to be really nice. And also, not only that, you get even more doing this special event. So pretty much all you have to do is just complete your daily tasks. So basically you would come into your schedule and do all these missions. Then that counts towards those uh, special events. Pretty much. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too drastic about that. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything else. No, it doesn't seem like I am. 
just making sure. But yeah, that's the only thing I wanted to make a video on, just uh, let you guys know, for those of you guys who have quit. Um, they do have a lot of rewards going on that I think it's kind of worth logging in for. Even if you're not still playing the game, I still say, even if there's a chance you come back to the game, you probably want to grab those rewards just in case. Because you never know if they could do something like extremely amazing and change up the game completely to where there's like way less farming and there's way less stuff that will keep you away from the game. To be honest, like I said, just take this game as casual. Don't take it serious. It's just one of those games that you can log in now and then. You don't have to keep up with it every day. Dragon Blaze, in my opinion, is not a serious game. It's more of a straight up casual game and I recommend you guys see it as such. It's not like one of those hardcore games that you honestly need to invest a extreme amount of time into. Because I know I don't and I've gotten up to this point too. Like I said, all my progress has just been made from just letting the game run while I sleep. Or while I'm just doing something else. I'm not playing any other games. I mean, I just let it run on my phone. You know, just auto farm for me while I'm just doing videos over here. And that's actually what I've been doing. <laughs> but, yeah. If you guys have any questions about this event or anything else you want to know, uh, do let me know. Also, uh, we actually... Okay, I just wanted to check the request. Because we did have somebody join. But, yeah. Like I said, if you guys need a guild, we are here. Um, I will be kicking out a lot of people because I want you guys to see this. This is how much the game is like losing players. Cause they're... Yeah, because of all the farming that's being added. You see, I, you guys see the empty ones? Those are people who haven't logged in in like over a month or even more, unfortunately. But at the moment, I mean, we're not even close to full anyway, so I haven't seen a reason to kick him yet because they could come back. So I think I'll just keep him in there until we get close to full, then I'll start removing people at that point. Because these guys have stuck with me for a while since I came back to this game. And God, it's been a journey with them. Unfortunately, most of them left and have to leave too. Eh, it happens, to be honest. I, I know the feel of a game being too grindy or uninteresting anymore. Or gets repetitive. Especially if you, uh... Especially if you do too much in a game. If anything, like I said, treat it as casual. Don't, like, go extremely in hardcore. Just try to level everything up as fast as you can. Buying stuff. Just, just chill. Relax. Talk with your guild members a little bit, you know? Pretty sure the top-ranked players will tell you the same thing, that you shouldn't take Dragon Blades too serious just because it is a casual game. But, yeah. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.